Welcome to Mark Reed 757. This is my weight loss journey. I was unable to do a throwback Thursday this week. I was unable to do my week 10 weigh in. I must have pushed it a little bit too far. I went to go to sleep after my last video and my heart was doing irregular heartbeats and it was beating very rapidly. I had AFib in the past. It's uh, like I said before, I can't really pronounce it very well. Arterial periurbitary. I can't pronounce it. It's AFib to me. Look it up on Google. I'm not doing a script today. I'm not doing my weigh in. I'm not doing the throwback Thursday. I'm just going to do an update. It was scary. I beelined it to the hospital, drove myself and my heart rate was going up to 185 when I got there. They, it did convert on its own. They were going to have to give me an, uh, it's called a cardio conversion, and that's where they would have put me to sleep and shocked my heart back into rhythm. Uh, however, they would have done, done another procedure before that, since I wasn't on any kind of blood thinners, they wanted to make sure when my heart would go back into rhythm, it wouldn't blow any clots and uh, kill me. And that's a that would be a, a separate procedure where they go in and just see if I'm okay to, you know, had any clots or not. Well, I didn't have any clots. My heart converted on its own, and I didn't sleep for like 40 hours. It was crazy. I, I I was like I wanted to sleep but I couldn't. And then I was in the hospital from Wednesday night till yesterday around 2 o'clock. They put me on a different type of medicine. I was on Cardizum. Now I'm on Sotolo. And what Sotolo does is it puts your heart at a lower rhythm and it tends to keep you in rhythm where cardizum was supposed to lower your heart rate but I guess I built a tolerance to it and I remember even when I started cardizum and was on it a year ago my resting heart rate was still fairly high uh, probably around 80 90 and Anytime I did any kind of activity, it would shoot up to 120, 130, which I thought was odd. I mean, I'm like, I'm just getting up and walking around, and it's going that high. It did make it kind of hard to exercise. Well, this new medicine, my heart went, my heart rate went way down to the 40s. It was like staying around 50, 45, even dipped to 35, which was crazy. I felt really bad, started feeling a little bit of pain in my chest when it dipped that low. Um, they backed off on how much they're giving me and so I can take a half a pill in the morning and a half a pill in the evening instead of a whole pill and a whole pill. I think that might have done the trick because now my heart rate feels around 60 and that's kind of where I want it. Anyway, I'm going to be getting back at it. I took some time off and you know I, I'm not worrying about the week 10 weigh in. I'll just weigh in week 11. I got a lot of catching up to do, but that doesn't mean I have to stress myself out. As far as exercise going, I, I didn't do anything, obviously. I was laying in bed. That's all I could do at the hospital. And even since I've been out of the hospital, I've, I've just walked. Um, I've been staying on point with eating. It's really easy to stay on point with eating with the hospital, although they did give me like bread and stuff, and I didn't really want bread. But I ate it anyway because they give you such a small amount. It didn't matter if I ate it because I wasn't going to really gain weight and I haven't gained weight. Uh, I am going to do my weigh in. I believe it's the 31st or the 1st for gaining Ashley because we want to see who's going to eat that kale. Um, this is just going to be a real video uh, from the heart. I didn't script anything. I just wanted to kind of say what's going on and it was scary 
And as I always say, you got to adjust and adapt. So I won't be fasting like I was. There goes that plan. However, ever since I've had this uh, AFib or whatever, I'm not really all that hungry anyway. So I can't even eat the big meals. I even planned on eating a big meal a day. And heck, I threw out some of it. I'm just not that hungry. I know I have to eat, so I got to force myself to eat somewhat. But that's way different than how I used to think. I used to think, man, I just got to eat, 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 eat. And I eat all the time, but so I guess I'm making some progress here. I knew there was something wrong, though, when I was walking up them stairs and kept feeling like lightheaded and a little bit, you know, felt like I was going to black out. I, I just knew there was something wrong, but when I when I was getting ready to go to bed that Wednesday night, my felt a pain in my chest and felt my heart rate and was going sky high and I knew I had to get to the hospital. I probably should have had someone take me, but I drove myself. <laughs> what can you do? Adjust and adapt, right? Hey, I'll be coming at you with a YouTube collaboration video tomorrow. I'll show much more energy. I just had to get this out there. Have a good weekend and a good Memorial Day.